Number five on our list is renting a car in South Africa. Okay, so how do I put this nicely? If you do not know how to drive a manual, you're going to pay more money. Just go ahead and deal with that now. I'll give you a second to let that marinate. <laughs> So unfortunately, or fortunately, in South Africa, manual vehicles are king on the road. There are automatic vehicles, however, they are way more expensive and less likely than in the States. Of course, there's the factor of you're driving on the right side of a car and you're also driving on the left side of the road, which is opposite if you visited Europe, which is the right side of the car and the right side of the road. <laughs> So definitely a lot that you're going to have to deal with there. So I don't know that you're gonna, gonna, gonna want to deal with driving a manual vehicle. If you can, great. But what I will say is once you have an interaction with one of the taxify out here, you definitely will wish that you had an automatic. <laughs> um, so yes, make sure that you're checking those rates. You will be able to rent a vehicle, say through Expedia or budget. Um, rental car they are uh, out here at the local airport which is Oara Tombo um, however the rates are going to be significantly higher for automatic vehicles when we came we didn't get as big of a vehicle as when I came in January which is a huge ban um, and you'll notice that if you're coming with a larger group and you need a bigger vehicle you're going to have to get one of these huge vans and they're usually manual but if you want them to be automatically automatic, you're going to spend at least over 13, 1400 US dollars for maybe just two weeks. When we got here this last time, we it's seven of us. So what we had to do was put all of our luggage in uh, what they call a buggy, <laughs> which is like a pickup truck. And that's one of the ones that's open in the back and kind of just the two, three people in the front. Uh, and then we got a smaller vehicle, a Toyota Avanza, which is about a good seven-seater. So if you have a bigger family, you just need something big enough for everybody to be able to get into and still be able to like fold down the back seats and make some shopping or whatever. That's a pretty good car that you can do a comparison with um, getting around. But we paid $800 US for about a month. That wasn't including any insurance or anything like that. And then it was over, I want to say, $1,500 for the deposit and everything that was held. So you definitely want to make sure you have a credit card that is available for those charges. One of the godsends that we did find was a company called, called Flex Club. F-L-E-X-C-L-U-B. I'm actually going to take the time and do an entirely different video talking about Flex Club. They allowed us to be able to rent to hire and they actually work with me even though none of my funds are being direct deposited into my South African account as of yet. So you won't be able to uh, do any of the verification online, but I do have an awesome connection with a guy over there named Warren. He'll be happy to assist you by email and you could probably even get it set up before you get here and they'll meet you at the airport. So that's really great and hopefully you are in for a great ride when it comes to finding a car in South Africa. I'll give you more information in a separate video.